Peace, love, and light, everyone. Thank you for tuning on to another Lala Divine video. I want to thank you guys for the like, shares, and subscribe. So, this video is a little different. I know I told you guys in my last video that I was going to start doing different content other than tarot, which I know y'all still love tarot. I'm still coming with the sauce, believe that. But I did want to give some pointers. Um, I feel like this is a prominent time to tell people about how to start their own business. When I started, I didn't have a lot of resources. I didn't know a lot. So I just kind of was going for what I know. So I feel like knowledge is power and I have knowledge. So I want to share that to you guys free of charge. Now, eventually I will be setting up a Patreon account that will be more in depth about these business videos and you guys can sign up uh, with a membership if you guys want that information. Um, I've been running a daycare for three years now and now I'm on my second business. Um, I got my kids um, starting businesses and I'm also working with other people as well. So I just wanted to come on here real quick to kind of give you guys a rundown on how to, you know, get started because that is the hardest thing is getting started. So um yeah so let me go ahead now if you guys hear my daughter in the background she's teething and she's five months and she talks a lot so excuse me <laughs> okay so now um some of you guys are starting businesses yay for you guys a lot of you guys are stuck what do i do how do i do this what da, 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 da. i've been there i know how it goes so that's why i'm here to help you and kind of push you a little bit so of course i live in missouri a lot of you guys live in different states all the same rules apply you just have to put your state in that you know in that window all right so um the question is at this point you're wanting to start a business you're excited about it, you got all these ideas make sure you guys are writing a business plan it doesn't have to be professional but just make sure you're writing like how much you want your salary to be, what days you want to work because you're your own boss, you're an entrepreneur, you are self-employed. So it's important to be your own boss, you're your own accountant, all of that. So you got to make sure you're prioritizing your life and your finances, your investments and things of that nature. So the thing is, what you want to do first is get you a, a, a notebook, okay? You want to get a notebook and write down everything in as far as this business. Um, why are you targeting certain um, audiences? Uh, what is your business going to do? Uh, who are you servicing? Because uh, it's a lot of competition out here. Not saying don't do this because a lot of people are doing it. No, because you're your own unique person. But you also want to entice your customers. Why should they buy from you? Why should they come and deal with you? So you, you want to make sure you get real clear and understand your why as you why are you doing this because if you're doing it just for money or clout you're not going to get far but if you have a reason like i watch kids because i love kids i have a whole bunch of them myself so it's easier for me to stay at home and watch kids so that's why i do i love kids like i love them i need to quit having them but i love them but anyway um yeah so just to make sure you know what you want to do be really selective um, write everything down. I'm talking about how much you want to make, um, where you want your location to be, what if you want a building, uh, what's the price you want to spend on your building. And guys, this is important when you want to manifest things. Writing down things will help you manifest things faster. So write it down. Now, now that you've written down your business plan, you kind of know where you're headed, you know what you want to do. Now, you take the next big step, a lot of steps that people don't take, but now we're going to get with it. So um, you either need to make a choice. There's all different types of um, business entities. You have the LLC, you have nonprofit corporations, you have business corporations, and you have sole proprietorship. Now, uh, Gosh All Daycare for me is an LLC because eventually I want to brand and have a, bi a building and, um, you know, have employers and things like that. It's taken me a little bit because I'm learning the ropes and uh, you got to have state licenses and things like that. And you just, that's a lot of work. So I'm taking everything by the horns, doing everything slowly. Okay. But I also have a sole proprietorship and that is uh, not so much corporation like but it's kind of my own thing and um 
I pay taxes on that business and I go from there. So I have an LLC and a sole proprietorship. So like I said, if you want a big corporation, something that's going to grow, then you want to stick with the LLC. But if you want something that's just small, you're selling products or you're, um, you can doing tarot readings, anything like sole proprietorship, doing hair outside your house. It's just your own business. Okay. So once you figure out which type of, you know, corporation, soul or whatever, that's when you get on to, I'm going to turn this camera on to the actual computer. So give me just a second. Okay. So this is the state of Missouri, the Missouri secretary of state guys. Um, this website is going to help you with starting a business. Now, for those of you who are in different states, you are going to use whatever state you're in, Secretary of State, Illinois, Secretary of State, et cetera, et cetera. So when you get on this page here, it's going to show you all the forms you need to download. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do and what you need to sign up with. So first and foremost, you want to make sure whatever your business is going to be, you need to make sure that no one has that name, logo, or anything. You want to make sure it's your own unique thing. So um, you're going to go to online entity registration, and you're going to click on that. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to the state of Missouri. You're going to make you a login because you are. this is your business, so you want to be able to log in and make sure you have um, all your information saved. And once you log on to that, it's going to show you um, whether or not your name is taken or not. So once you get that done and your name is clear, then now you're going to go to these different forms. And like I said, it's all about which business that you want to do. If you want an LLC, um, you go down li li limited liability companies. Um, Click on this, file a limited, but it's going to take you to the Missouri Secretary of State. And then you just go from there. So once you get that done, then they'll send you an email of your certification and an actual LLC number. Okay, they also have sole proprietorship. Now, a sole proprietorship is when you are just, like I said, just selling something like that. And when you do that, you really don't have to look up, you know, well, you do have to make sure your name is not taken, but it's a little, uh, you know, less work than the LLC. So anyway, once you have that done, you either have your LLC or your sole proprietorship. Now you want to move on to the next level. And what that is, you go to uh, your I. You now you want to get your IE in. So let me close this out. I got too many of these open. So pretty much what I did is I went to google.com and I put in EIN free because your EIN is going to be free. Now you are going to be charged for your LLC and your sole proprietorship. I believe it's like $50 online, $150 offline for them to process that. Okay. So now you're on your EIN. Now let's talk about the EIN. So the EIN is a free service offered by the Internal Revenue Service. Now, um, this number is your identification number for your business. Uh, if you're in a sole proprietorship, you can use your social, but to me, I would suggest you get an EIN number. Why? Because a lot of these businesses, guys, they don't tell you, but you can write off almost anything. And I mean, like, keep your receipts, mileage, whatever you name. Once you have an EIN and your business is under that, you can write everything off under that EIN to where when you file your taxes, you can write all that off. So that's why I personally would say get an EIN number. You don't have to, but you, you know, you can. Um, with the daycare, like I just learned that um, I can go to a dealership and tell them I want to get a car for my business or SUV for my business under my business name and EIN number. And when I go in there, pay it off or do however that process works. And then at the end of the year, I can write off that whole purchase because it's for my business. So if you don't have this EIN, you really, I mean, it's kind of per perks that you get with it and perks that you don't. So that is just pretty much self-explanatory. So yeah. And once you do that, once you have your EIN number, we're going to turn this camera back. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay. So uh, basically what you do is at that point, 
you have your business set up you're you're ready to go so like i said if you're wanting to do a corporation now you need to look into your uh, licenses what do i need to do to have a license in the state of missouri or whatever state that you're in then you want to look up buildings what type of building do i need do i need um to have running water do i need to have a bathroom do i need to have this do i need to have that you need to make sure you are um you know just making sure you have everything for your business and once you do that um Guys, you go to SBA, there is grants galore, scholarships, you name it. Guys, the money is out there. You just got to look for it. You got to put yourself out there because people are not just going to tell you what you, you know, that every all these resources that you're hey, you actually have to look for it. And then that's what I'm for because I will give you those resources as well. So, yeah, I believe that is about it. Um, I think I covered everything. So, whoever... Is trying to start a business and have been stuck and don't know where to start i pray this message or this um video helped you guys a lot if you guys have any questions comments or whatever uh please comment below like i said i will be having a patreon account eventually um but just guys i need y'all's comments y'all's uh input participation because this helps me to know what content and what, what what you guys need to know i'm here for you guys like um, if I have knowledge, I want to share it, period, point blank. And I feel like that's what's wrong with this world. Nobody wants nobody to evolve and grow, but I do. Because when I evolve, I feel better about myself. So, you know, and now I have businesses and now I can, you know, get my teenagers to be started to be an entrepreneur where they're working for people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anywho. I thank you guys for tuning in to another video. You guys are awesome. I pray this resonated and you guys needed this information. Comment below. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.